from the Family Circle Kitchen to your kitchen on Parents TV. Do you want to really impress your guests at your next dinner party? I'm Julie Eau Claire with Parents.TV and we are going to show you how to make a stuffed blank steak. It's easy, delicious. Your guests are going to think you spent all day working on it. It was recently featured in Family Circle magazine, and we are at the Family Circle Test Kitchens with senior food editor Julie Miltenberger. Thank you for letting us come over. Ah, it's great to be here. It's good to see you. Now, you're going to show us how to do this. It's not hard? No, it's pretty straightforward. Just a couple steps, and you'll have a dazzling uh, dinner. Okay, so what do we need for this? So we've just got a flank steak. It's about a pound and a half or so, okay. and then we've made a stuffing that has spinach, blue cheese, roasted red peppers, Yummy. a little bit of breadcrumbs, <laughs> and some garlic, salt, and pepper. And that's it, and a little oil. Yep. And we just need some... Kitchen twine. Some kitchen twine. All right, now did you trim this? I didn't. So this is, it came, this one was about a pound and a half, and sometimes it'll be a little wider and a little flatter, but this is nice because it's thick and it should be pretty easy for us to cut open. Okay, show us how to do that. So you're going to open it up like a book. You get a nice handy knife nice that's sharp, sharp, sharp yeah. and you just want to kind of hold one hand down and slowly open it up. So you're just going to make a book. So you just keep slicing I guess in the small trick is little moves. Slow, right? So you don't slow it just so you don't cut through it. So meanwhile, I can tell you a little bit about what's in that stuffing that's going to go in the inside of here. So we started with a package of frozen chopped spinach that we thawed and then drained. And then we added a half cup of crumbled blue cheese. Yeah, that's delicious. A seven yeah. ounce jar of roasted red peppers that we drained and then chopped. Okay. And then um, there's a little bit of two tablespoons or so of seasoned breadcrumbs and one egg yolk, and then a little bit of salt, garlic, salt, and pepper. So the egg yolk's sort of binding it all together. Yes, okay. and the breadcrumbs help with that as well. So now I'd like you to take a quarter teaspoon of garlic salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Okay. And just sprinkle it over the inside the of this. The entire thing, yep. all right, here we go. And you're gonna take the filling and Alrighty. just put it all over the the flank steak here and try to leave yourself about an inch border. We don't want it all squeezing out. No, you can okay. put it down and I'll kind of press it with my hands as you spoon, okay. just so we have a nice even uh, distribution. You can smell that garlic powder. It yeah, smells great. it's good stuff. And the blue cheese is also really nice because every so often you get a little hit of it and it's such a nice tangy flavor to go with steak. So we just spoon it all in, in. Mm -hmm. and then we're all set to go. And what I find the easiest way to handle this is, once this is all pressed down, a little more, mm -hmm. and okay. then you just rotate the cutting board 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. You start at a short end, and you just roll, you just roll it, up. it up. And what if you get a little squishing out? Our hole will be on the bottom anyways, so we're in... No we one, just, no one will hole. know. No one will exactly. even know. All right. hole? <laughs> so then I'm just going to take, this is a tablespoon of olive oil. Okay. And I'm going to rub it on, uh, on the steak and then drizzle it with a little more of the garlic, salt, and pepper. Good seasoning, right? Yeah, okay. and then we tie it at um, about two inch increments. So we took some twine and we All cut right. it into about eight to 10 inch lengths. Okay. And we like just that. slide it under. So we're just tying it all up. And then what we want to do is pop it onto a roasting pan and we bake it at 425 mm -hmm. for 35 minutes. And then we increase the heat to broil and we uh, broil it for 10 minutes so we get a nice crunchy crust on the outside. My so. first stuffed flank steak, Julie. So exciting. So exciting. And All then right. 45 minutes. Ooh, oh, it smells really good. Let's see. It looks ready. What do you think? Oh, it looks good. Okay. Let's get the door. All right. And then you're going to want to let this sit for about five minutes so that the juices, you know, kind of stick together. Mm -hmm. But we are going to move it right onto this cutting board. Gosh, the cheese melted so nicely. And then you can just snip through these um, pieces of string with, okay. you know, um, kitchen scissors, and you're just going to skewer it and cut it into cut slices. slices. Yeah, and then you can see the, the whole spiral of that filling. Well, there you go. So you got the spinach and the red pepper, and the cheese is all melted in there, and you can smell the garlic salt. Fantastic. So. Julie, thank you so much for taking the time to make this with us. If you make this, your guests are going to be so impressed. They're going to think you were cooking all day. And if you'd like more great recipes, pick up a Family Circle magazine or check back with us, www.parents.tv. We'll have lots of them for you, too. I'm Julie Eau Claire, along with Julie Miltenberger. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you soon. Mmm, it smells great.